Hi everybody, this week I'm talking about my vagina. Don't worry, I'm not just talking about my vagina, I'm also talking about um, one of my favorite books. It's called The Vagina Monologues. Um, it's by a woman named Eve Ensler. And what The Vagina Monologues is, is it's actually a play that Eve Ensler created. It's a bunch of women on stage, essentially, who talk about their vaginas and how they feel about them. Uh, and Eve Ensler did this because she was kind of worried about the state of vaginas in our culture. She was worried about the connotations, the shame and the mystery and the secrecy and the taboo um, associated with just saying the word, let alone talking about it. And what she found out through asking hundreds and thousands of women about their story and about their vagina and about their bodies is that um, women will at first be very, very shy and timid uh, about talking about their genitalia. But once you get a woman started on talking about her vagina, you cannot get her to shut up. So uh, apparently this is something we all want to discuss and for some reason it's deemed unacceptable or inappropriate. And uh, I have a problem with that. So this video is dedicated to vaginas everywhere. Pride. The whole point of the vagina monologues is self-acceptance and empowerment and love of your body. And what they emphasize a lot in the play and in the book is the need for us to kind of connect with it, her, with the vagina. Because apparently for a lot of women, your vagina is like this foreign land that you don't really visit and you kind of avoid and you only deal with when you have to. And we haven't established like a beautiful, loving connection and relationship. So if you are someone who is not intimately equated with all parts of your body, then I suggest we work to fix it. So here's what um, they talk about in this book. What you want to do, okay, and just he hear me out, um, is you want to just start with just looking, just looking at your vagina. So what you're going to need is a, a well-lit room. I recommend um, doing this in front of a window. And you're going to need like a full length mirror or what I prefer is a hand mirror. And I had mine around here somewhere, but of course I lost, you know, never mind. Just uh, a, a well lit area and a mirror. And what you want to do is lay down flat on your back. Okay. And if you want, you can use pillows to prop yourself up. Um, this works best when you're naked because you are going to need access uh, to your vagina. What you're going to want to do is lay down flat on your back and make sure you're comfortable. Then you're going to want to spread your legs and then angle your mirror so that you can see. And then just look, just let it wash over you. Then what you might want to do is take your fingers and part your labia and take an even closer look at stuff, a more detailed view, let's say. Uh, and you can move around. You can look at it from different angles. The whole point of this is to get a good look and to explore your body and to get to know your body better and really to just admire kind of the brilliance that is between your legs. I tried this. Um, a couple of months ago and then I did it again 10 minutes ago just like as a refresher and let me tell you if you have never done something like this before if you have never taken a good hard look at your vagina let me tell you I cannot recommend it enough please just just go after this video just go do it now after I did it I was shocked because I did not realize what a beautiful vagina I have like I have a beautiful vagina like it is kind of just pink and pretty and petite looking. It doesn't even look like it belongs to me. Like it doesn't look like it could be a part of my body. It's so pretty. And if only I did a little landscaping down there, I mean, it would win awards. Just saying, you too can be pleasantly surprised after you do this, cause damn. And boys, your penises are wonderful and beautiful too, but you have to understand that we're kind of working against all the oppressive and negative influences of the patriarchy. So you can see why I have to do this. So here's what I want all the ladies to do. 
spread your legs and get out those mirrors because once you do, you're going to find a new sense of love and appreciation and admiration because between your legs, you contain the universe and more women need to realize this. And also tell me how it goes.